Hi, my name is Lou Roper. I've had the great fortune of being in an industry that I dearly love for over 40 years, the horse industry. That includes training, lessons, clinics, and also the show pen. In that time, I've had over 10,000 goes in the horse show trail arena, 25 national champion trail titles, and in a one-day show, I showed 87 times in events that included trail, western riding, and reining. With that knowledge and experience, I can help you become successful with your horse. It doesn't matter your age, ability, or experience level. It doesn't even matter what breed of horse you ride. I can help you. So let's get some trail obstacles together and get started. In this section, we're going to be looking at the back through slot. I've asked my German associate, Mr. Martin Otremba, and his horse relic to assist me. When we first do the slot, I like to place the poles wide apart so that the horse doesn't get claustrophobic and doesn't have quite as much possibility of hitting the poles and being discouraged. As we proceed to the backup, Martin's going to pick up his hand and draw it back and move the horse in a very slow manner, not fast, not quick. The horse is taking nice, even, slow steps, not in a hurry. The horse looks very quiet. Excellent. Let's look at that again. We're going to have Martin start his back up and see how even the horse moves. Not too big a step. Very soft. Very rhythmic. I've asked Martin to place Relic a little too close to this right pole so we can see how to move the horse over quietly. And as Martin backs up, he's going to gently apply his right leg and guide the horse over towards the left as he's backing up. Nice with the leg, soft with the hand. As with the other obstacles, doing a back through slot or practicing your back through takes a lot of repetition. The horses need to coordinate their feet during the back up, and most of the work we do is in forward motion. So you have to kind of take the time to practice your back up so that the horse learns to take soft back steps, and as you apply your leg to go from one side to the other, that they do so quietly and not taking big steps. As you practice the back up, there's a couple tips that you should look for. As you draw that hand back, be soft. You don't want to accidentally tell the horse to go too fast. Another item is if you want that horse to stop, that hand should go down and quit pulling. Very important. And as you need to move your horse to the side with your leg, be easy. Watch for my future videos when we will be working on more complicated back throughs like the L, the W, or even around barrels.